Hello and welcome back to Indipin iTech. You will notice that the lens mount cap kept rotating and would not hold in place. This was very annoying even though the lens actually worked well. It was time to replace the mount. As I go about replacing the mount, I would like to let you know that about a year ago I invested in a secondhand DSLR for video purposes and I picked up the Nikon D3400. This came with two lenses. The lens that I'm working on right now is the 70-300mm that uh, had certain issues. I did not have the budget for a brand new camera and so got this for a decent price. This lens had a problem with the mount. It would not hold onto the camera in a very sturdy way. It would hold on but I was afraid that it would fall at any time. I did not do my research at the time of purchase and so I thought I would be able to easily get the replacement piece. But as I began looking up Amazon and other e-commerce sites I was not able to find this particular part locally and so I had to turn to Alibaba and thanks to Alibaba I was able to get this part in about three weeks. I took another two or three days to gather the courage to open up the lens so that I could replace it. It was kind of the lens works, should I replace it, should I not? and then the fear of the lens falling off kept bugging me and so I thought okay I should give it a try and so this repair is all about that process of replacing the mount you could easily tell that there was a difference between the original lens mount and the one I have purchased the first thing you would notice is that there is no serial number on the one I purchased as you know that's a replacement part but the major difference is the shade of the color of the label where the details of that lens are shown the color matches but then the shade is kind of different as well as the font size in the entire process, I had to reassemble the entire lens a couple of times because I am not experienced. I would miss placing a screw here or you know, I would go ahead mounting it forgetting that I had to place another part in there somewhere and all of that and through it I learned that I had to you know, put all of these parts in place.
also learnt that uh, the contacts could be mounted in an easier way that is after you have mounted the entire lens you could slide them in and they would fit in even though I have put in the effort to put them at the beginning and not at the end. You will now notice that the lens mount cap does not rotate freely but gets locked in place on the lens after the mount has been replaced with the new one. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video.